hello friends today we are going to discuss the uh, uh, topic called dna uh, sequencing dna sequencing as you know this dna sequencing is related with molecular molecular biology bio technology zoology evolutionary biology so these are the many fields this topic is very much important for this fields so how you will start to understand this topic because if your basics are not clear then it will be very difficult to understand so what is the objective behind this technique because the objective is it is a it is a method to determine specific order or sequence specific order or sequence of nucleotides so what is specific order and nucleotide these two term you need to uh, clear so specific order means when you talking about genome you are talking about the total haploid set of gene within uh, your uh, in the, uh, any haploid cell and within that suppose you are talking about homo sapiens homo sapiens so you have total 23 chromosomes and these 23 chromosome are 23 chromatins 23 chromatin so when you are talking about this 23 chromosome that means this 23 chromosomes have 23 specific chromatin and this specific chromatin has many genes and these genes are nothing maybe these are exons or the genes you can say and there are uh, in intervening sequences also today that is not we are taking that there are so many genes and genes have genes are the active part which determine the characters so these genes are are specific order of nucleotides nucleotides so this specific order of nucleotides can can explain the difference from other gene or if you can determine all the genes and its sequences genes and its sequences 
so you can then your you can gene and sequence if it is uh, known then you can use this knowledge in many field what are the fields can be uh, you, um, what are the fields that you can uh, you you can use your knowledge suppose you are uh, establishing any evolutionary relationship how close one organism with other organism other organism suppose you are uh, talking about that uh, chimpanzee is bit different from human so that means if you know the hemoglobin uh, genes sequence of human and that of chimpanzee so you can say how much different they are so human hemoglobin uh, hemoglobin chain alpha 2 beta 2 uh, from these two organisms can establish evolution such uh, thing can be done because if you know that then you can understand the mutation also what are the several mutation in various form uh, form of gene so why such changes can be understood several uh, medical 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 problem uh, that means uh, medical syndromes can which is may be responsible for mutation can be identified through uh, such uh, thing and you can uh, uh, you can uh, sequence all the genes in human and other organism so presently our uh, all over the world working on human human genome projects to sequence all the gene and we can uh, find out some solution to the genetic diseases through this things so uh, now you uh, you just uh, understand this concept so now when you are talking about this DNA sequencing you are your prime objective is prime objective to find out find out the correct order of occurring or occurrence of nucleotides correct order of occurrence of nucleotide so what are the nucleotides so nucleotides as you know there are uh, you can say Nine. So suppose it is adenine. We are going to find adenine, and then it is adenine. So adenine means there is a double one T. So here you will find thymine. The thymine. This is your thymine. So adenine and thymine so t thymine so
So here Guanin will be. Let me draw here. This is very important to know the proper structure of every nucleotides until or unless you can uh, draw it out it is very important uh, difficult to understand molecular biology so a double bond t and uh, g so here see so g c so c must be you see so c in C. So here you see the nucleotides so it is cytosine it is your guanine adenine and here is uh, thymine T thymine. So adenine guanine cytosine and thymine uh, G triple bond C. So these are the nucleotides. Nucleotides in form. These two are purine and these are pyrimidines. So purine and pyrimidine two nucleotides. Uh, for, uh, that means you your purine and pyrimidine. So these two. So one. Three, one, and and three. So if it is cytosine, is the adenine that is thymine. So here thymine. Oh, and so and here here is one of the hydrogen. So this thymine and cytosine, guanine, adenine, thymine. So adenine with cytosine, cytosine. Adenine with thymine, guanine with cytosine. So probably this is the structure. So these structures remain within the DNA. So they form some this sort of structure so this is glycosidic bond and CH2 this is ester bond so if we can understand so uh, let me time in so it is Thymine 2 oxygen 1 2 3 oxygen is 4 5 
and 6 Thym uh, that is thymine and your uh, here adenine so here one hydrogen and rest of the thing is okay and your guanine uh, yeah, here okay this is guanine also correct actually I have bit confusion because th these are very similar so this so this total structure we called please kindly note it uh, for this thing here you see this hydrogen normally this is called deoxy deoxy ribose sugar because 2 prime 2 prime position is occupied by only hydrogen and 3 prime is with hydroxyl but when you are talking uh, simple uh, polymerization reaction then this uh, suppose I uh, then this uh, nucleotide this uh, then uh, this OH will form with deoxynucleotides any of the deoxynucleotide which may be may come here and joined with CH2PO4 that means AT, you will lose one pyrophosphate PPI and it will join by this part CH2PO4 this bonding will take place here and this bonding here CH2OH and phosphate with linked with the phosphate group now link with this OH group so this is called phosphodiester bond phospho phosphodiester bond so this portion is very important to understand this DNA sequences until or unless you understand this portion it is very difficult for you to understand let me draw for you one second how this polymerization reaction is going to occur so suppose this is two subsequent nucleotides so n uh, 1 to 7 and n 9 so here your nucleotides uh, ribose sugar deoxy ribose sugar so normally ch2 o p uh, sorry uh, o and double o here you have oh h h deoxy ribose this much and now when you add with another any one of the nucleotides suppose it is any one of the nucleotides suppose it is thymine it is in nature so one three so now another nucleotide and come and it has come this so this ch2 p O, another P O4 P O4 so these two will move out and this will form phosphodiester bond and here another open end open end open I have already in my previous video I have told this is the open 3 prime end so C1 2, 3, 4 and this 5, 5 carbon ribose sugar. So this open end with linked up with another in up uh, that means coming nucleotide and this whole chain will elongate elongation in DNA replication. So now you see when this elongation process is going on if some nucleotide come with a very problematic situation suppose 
this type of nucleotide is coming the incoming one is coming with a bit problem suppose here you just think that the next nucleotide which has intention to add but has some problem see c1 2 3 c4 and c5 and here your phosphate you have three consecutive phosphate group three one two three alpha beta and gamma so these are with hydrogen the hydrogen so now this is a problem for new nucleotide to add because they have no hydroxyl group so it is not possible to this come and add with or it once again form a phospho diester bond so then this DNA sequence DNA sequencing process which is the topic for the day is done 1900 uh, 70 uh, 75 or 77 the uh, dideoxy deoxynucleotide with dideoxynucleotides so and it is serving as a terminator it is serving now as a terminator this whole process is is uh, is first time first time conceived by Frederick uh, Sanger in 1975 Frederick Sanger 1975 and he has used four dideoxy nucleotide dideoxy NTPs in T piece. So, what are the dideoxy nucleotide? One I have here shown. So, let me rub this those things. So, uh, this dideoxy nucleotides are you can say it may be dideoxy adenosine triphosphate. Second, it may be dideoxy cytosine triphosphate second so di deoxy uh, guanosine triphosphate fourth di deoxy thymidine triphosphates so so uh, now the uh, this dna sequencing by chain termination nation method is in lab so how he has uh, make this thing so he used several uh, uh, essential thing to do this so what are uh, this process he has used he has used the basic process of sample collection because until you have sample you can't uh, until you extract the DNA uh, from any of the organism your desired specimen you can't do then what you have to do you have to denature the double stranded DNA because most of the DNA what I have shown here is of double stranded in nature double stranded DNA molecule so you need to denature this thing into single standard one because you know the single standard dna molecule acts as template for uh, any of the dna sequencing 
so so this is the uh, template start you have and now you see uh, when you are making this thing possible denatural by chemical way or you uh, heat it heat can be used as a method so you have done this thing so now you see this denaturation is done so now you need extension so you do you prepare some vowels you use uh, may use this one side so you uh, use uh, some uh, vowels one two three four four vowels stay one now you give dna molecules the segments of dna molecule a restriction and enzyme can be used after collecting dna to separate out now you can radio label this thing also if you desire and now you put or add primer primer so you know primer are the short dna or rna sequence dna or rna sequence which is required to extend the chain and it has a free hydroxyl 3 prime oh and so now so it is single strand 5 prime to 3 prime 5 prime to 3 prime so free 3 prime oh so it will progress the chain extension will progress in this way now you see when you are adding this rna uh, dna because your dna polymerase you need to add so what do you the again another thing you have to put here that is dna third thing you have to uh, add that is third thing dna polymerase the polymerase we use for uh, dna replication you can it can be the um, any dna polymerase artificial dna polymerase dna polymerase one it is used for uh, uh, sorry dna polymerase three by nature it is for the extension so whatever dna polymerase you use use so it will increase the uh, progress the chain so short dna sequence because your dna polymerase is dna dependent dependent dna polymerase polymerase dna dependent dna polymerase so dna dependent dna polymerase is used for the chain extension so uh, it is used now when the chain four vowel is set one uh, four vowel is set one two three four sample is given by this process from here you uh, you think that these are set in thing now you have you have selected for this sample with whatever i have discussed this thing any one suppose this is d a t p this vowel is specifically the dideoxy is used nucleotides is used DATP and here dideoxy uh, suppose D and then CTP dideoxy then you use um, third one GTP and dideoxy TTP the four is separate vowel is used and now you see what is going on you will 
get suppose this is dna and here is nucleotides are many 5 prime to 3 prime. so assign 3 prime to 5 prime here you have primer and you have suppose this is a specific a specific so a specific so it will move c c c c uh, t t g so suppose this is a specific so it is it will come up to this and here you have radio level and it will come it will stop so you will get a band up to this t a a g c a t g c c g a so now the suppose this is t and then now a will come but a will not able to bind because it is this is the problem with this t here it has only hydrogen so this is dioxy which cannot move into the chain elongation so chain elongation elongation by this nucleotide is not possible so you will get a bed now bed up to this so I am making this thing bit short because the uh, size of the video is going to very large for this so now you run this DNA gel electrophoresis so you will you know that it is size dependent negative to positive so DNA we use for this gel electrophoresis we use agarose because DNA is uh, electrophoresis or size dependent electrophoresis or uh, total number of that means uh, positive to negative it will move small size will move bit larger and so you run several uh, vowel the four vowels will run uh, separately into four wells this 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 so suppose this is for d d a t p we mark it so you will find several band so this is for suppose g so this is for d suppose third one or third one is g g t p g t p so you just read out this mark and you can determine the original sequence from here so it is 3 prime to 5 prime so this sequence suppose uh, here the small smallest one a so you go a then suppose uh, here you find this our second one is c so it is c g whatever third one is so in this way you can by following the chain termination method we can sequence the order or you can determine the order of nucleotides so it is a very useful um, concept conferred by uh, Frederick Griffith 1975 probably uh, this uh, concept has revolutionized our uh, molecular biology because everything is um, gene dependent in molecular biology and every gene if you can sequence you can, can manipulate then you can uh, do a very tremendous work now uh, the next thing it is due to um, the uh, strenuous effort made by Maxim and Gilbert in um, in the field of molecular biology 
he has actually uh, he has made this uh, concept far uh, uh, that means advanced it is more useful than the previous one because the previous one is very uh, financially if you think this uh, is very costly so now what they did say this uh, sequencing process is very economical the Sanger, Maxim and Gilbert what have forwarded the view so to do this thing so the method of uh, it is called the DNA sequence uh, sequencing by Maxim and uh, Gilbert and it is 1977 or 80s or more and it is being uh, standardized even uh, after math and this is, betho, is basically a chemical method so it is chemical method and uh, I will discuss this thing in my next video so this chemical method I will feel even more interesting try to uh, follow and subscribe my video I have made this videos for your uh, CSR net preparation because until or unless you have a very confident knowledge over this topic you cannot uh, answer very uh, the last few questions from this molecular tools and technique so I hope you will enjoy the videos a uh, few uh, things in the very front actually uh, the initial uh, lectures uh, from this video initial few minutes are a bit uh, uh, actually it's a very vast topic so you have to uh, bear with me because I have uh, only I go through the several books and I prepare uh, there is no uh, note form uh, so it is my uh, best effort to make you uh, feel confident for CSR hope uh, you will qualify thanks do research work have a nice